So here we have just your basic, it's just a quick simple line. Uh, so it's a 2D line, you can see I'm still in my top mode here, you don't have to switch to a front facing or profile mode. And this works again with uh, simple AutoCAD uh, elements as well as civil 3D entities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and utilize the vertical clearance this time. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that and it asks me if I'd like to use the standard school bus which is my default vehicle and uh, for this I'm going to say no. It'll bring up the vehicle library and let me see I'll just jump over and grab something different this time. Go over and grab some British. We'll do a DB32 and just pick a private car. Again, we want to verify things like scale, again, any civil 3D surfacing, and then layers as well. I'll just say OK and proceed with that, and I'll pick my entity. Now, you don't have to use an endpoint snap per se, but if I pick on this left half of the object, the car is going to drive from left to right. If I pick on the right hand side, it's going to drive from right to left. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that. And you'll just get a quick little notification. This isn't an error. It's just letting me know that the vehicle I chose, many of the values were set based upon rules and, and agency standards, but there may have been a couple values that uh, were just put in as default values. So it's just saying I might want to go in and check that vehicle before I use it just to make sure that I agree with all the values that have been placed in there. Now, one of the nice things the product does is if there are any uh, values that were placed in as default values, it'll light them up in red. Doesn't mean you have to change them, but it just brings your attention to them so that you can quickly jump through and see which uh, values are gonna need your attention. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I'd like to proceed. It's gonna run a quick calc, and this is a very long line, so you can see there's a bit of a green that kind of showed up. And if I zoom in real close, you can see the vehicle has been placed there. And so now, by selecting that, again, I get several grips. If I like, I can choose to uh, place vehicle outline, and I can choose what various symbols and things I'd like to use. So I can place an outline wherever I want to display what the conditions are going to be. Maybe as I got to this curve here, I can go ahead and choose to place how the vehicle is going to perform. 